We are sitting on this mountain of information. We're only looking at the tip of an iceberg and there's all this data out there, which is high value data, observations about our planet Earth. And we're not taking advantage of that to make better decisions. Perhaps more than ever, the climate crisis is creating strains on businesses. From damage to their assets, disruptions to their supply chains and operations, as well as increasing pressure from consumers and regulators to create and meet sustainability goals. How do you prepare for the impact of climate change in a smarter way? IBM is working on technologies designed to bridge the gap between climate science and business operations, bringing IBM research innovations into AI-powered software that businesses can start using today. This begins with the ability to digest and analyze massive geospatial data sets. Put simply, geospatial data is information that describes objects, events, or other features with a location on or near the surface of the Earth, such as maps, weather, agricultural, and air quality data. In the climate domain, we deal with very large data sets. Climate data is massive. And that means you have to be very, very clever how to avoid data movement, because each time you move data, it will slow you down. To help solve this problem, IBM Research developed a geospatial analytics engine powered by AI and the hybrid cloud. Think about satellite observations. You observe imagery information of our planet Earth. And so how can I analyze it? How can I understand, for example, the tree growth, vegetation growth, how much carbon is being stored in that vegetation? That's all geospatial analytics. But the true power for companies is unlocked when combining the geospatial analytics engine with a new climate and environmental impact modeling framework. This innovative framework is powered by a set of AI accelerators designed to help clients efficiently predict the risk and potential impact of upcoming climate and weather threats to their business. At the end, climate affects people, affects buildings if there's floods, right? Affects highways. So it's really the geospatial context of that information, which means you've got to combine it eventually. You've got to combine flood risk information with the road information, with the elevation information, with many other sets of information to understand what is the impact, what's the economic damage of a flood. It allows you to deploy, develop, and run AI models on top of all this massive curated geospatial data, climate data. So let's say you're an utility company. You have tens of thousands of substations which you use to supply electricity right, to your customers. And so the question comes, which of those asset locations are at the biggest risk and when? How would you prioritize it? How would you prepare these sites? In which order? How do you allocate your investments? So we are not just about letting people know about the risks but we then eventually feed it into a list of priorities, which are then go to actional business decisions and insights. Really, it's all about the actions. Developed in IBM Research and commercialized through the IBM Environmental Intelligence Suite, the innovations are available to businesses right now. The suite brings a wide variety of weather, climate, AI, and operational technologies into a single software solution that companies can use not only to predict climate risk, but also to help manage sustainability initiatives. It also includes a new carbon performance engine that provides an efficient way for companies to track their carbon footprint. Every business needs to account and measure its carbon footprint. But accounting is just the first step. Now the next question comes, how can I improve on my carbon footprint? How can I improve the carbon performance? And that's where the carbon performance engine can help. Using AI such as natural language processing helps capture data across different emission types, which can provide a view of emission hotspots for companies to target areas to reduce their emissions. You can use the carbon performance engine to optimize order fulfillment. You as a consumer, you might order something. It can come from different places. It can come from a store. It can come from a warehouse. There are different shipping options. You may want to get it immediately. You may have some time. There are different cost options. So how do you make that decision to execute on that order fulfillment? And the Carbon Performance Engine has the intelligence, it has the ability to take carbon information that optimize across all these different objectives and then eventually come to the best business decision. 
the advancements are part of IBM's efforts to accelerate the development of technologies intended to help society mitigate and adapt to climate change. By bringing these innovations from the lab into IBM software that can integrate with broader business technologies, organizations can begin taking the practical steps to becoming more sustainable and resilient. Whether it's extending the life of physical assets, optimizing their supply chains, managing the impact of climate change on business operations, or even running more efficient IT operations. IBM software can also help companies analyze the vast amounts of sustainability data scattered throughout their business, helping them address compliance mandates and regulatory requirements and streamline environmental reporting initiatives. Fundamentally, what we're really trying to see is how can we accelerate through these technologies finding viable solutions and applications to solve this climate crisis? Because time is of essence. There's no time to be wasted here.